today's look is based off of a YouTube request for the um, Scarlett Johansson look in a Dolce & Gabbana ad. Uh, it's for lipsticks, I think it says the roses on it. And it's a really pretty kind of pin up -y style look. And since I got this new red lipstick that this lovely lady from Makeup Alley sent me, I thought I would go ahead and give it a try. So, here we go. This is the look with wing liner that I don't do good at getting even and bright red lips. So if you like it, keep watching. Okay, so like always, apply your primer and base. I use Too Faced Shadow Insurance and Pixie Epoxy. I've already put on the shadow insurance. I just blend it in and wait for it to dry for just a couple seconds. It'll still be tacky, it just won't be soaking wet. And then the first color I'm going to apply is a MAC Blonde Gold Pigment. And I'm going to use a flat shader brush like this. This is uh, this one is from Walmart actually. There's um, Elf has one almost exactly like it. I'm just going to brush the shadow right on my lid. And down into the tear duct. Next, I'm going to take Fairnay's Snow Leopard and I'm going to use a fluffy blender brush. This is from uh, Studio Tools. And I'm going to put that in the crease, making concentrating most of the color on the outer corner. But not doing the outer V or anything, just start there and move in. And I'm also going to take some of that same color with a pointy smudger brush. This is from Sephora. And put that underneath the eye. The whole way across. Okay, next I'm going to take um, just a pale baby pink. It's a matte color. This is from the She Space called Happy Haze. I'm going to use that same fluffy brush because I haven't done my brows yet. And just put that right on the top and blend it down. Okay, next I'm going to apply a white eyeliner to my lower waterline. I'm using the NYC one and just warm it up on the back of your side of your hand like this and it'll help it go on without pulling too much and I like this pencil even though it's a cheapy one because it's not very good quality it, it goes on kind of sheer and looks more natural so okay Okay, next I'm going to work on the eyeliner, and winged liner is kind of hard for me, um, just because my eyes are neither one shaped exactly the same or even close to the same, and it's kind of a do as I say, not as I do thing, because the idea is to get, when you look like this, sort of a straight line, and then it gets a good wing, but it's kind of hard for me, so just bear with me while I try. Oh, I'm using Wet n Wild uh, Black Cream Liner. Okay, this is also, um, this is an Echo Tools angled liner brush. Make sure you get close to the lashes. You don't want any skin showing through at your lash base. I like to build the line in the center and work out. Okay, and I'm 
I'm going to sort of bring it up from the end of my eye up toward my crease and brow area. And then just kind of bring it inwards. Getting them even is the hard part. <laughs> okay, so that's not exactly even, but I think it'll do. Um, next I'm going to apply mascara and then I'll come back and show you the rest of the face. Okay, so my wings are not exactly anywhere near the same, but neither are my eyes, so whatever. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows, or uh, my one brow, because I already did the other one. I used the Maybelline uh, brow pencil, the blonde one. And I just used light strokes and fill in the entire brow. And this one I have to actually build up, because if you can see, the hair that grows up here is all light and sparse. And I don't like that shape, so I just build it up a little bit on the top. And then once I think I have it filled in good, I just go through with an eyebrow comb brush thing, like this. And there we have it. So, now I'm going to show you the rest of my face here. I tried to do some sort of, I don't know, pin up -y type hair. I don't think I did a good job. but. Whatever, you get the idea, right? So, um, in the picture of Scarlett, it looks like she has on some kind of contour. Either that or she has massively good cheekbones, probably both. So I'm going to use this brush right here. This is from Sonia Kashuk. And just use a little bit of the Physician's Formula Warming Glow, just because I don't have an actual contour color. And I'm just going to put that right in the hollow of my cheek. And blend back to the hairline, which I already have a little bit on, but I'm showing you what I did. And then on the top of my cheekbone I put a little bit of this blush right here. This is um, Besame Boudoir Rouge in Sweet Pink. The same lady who sent me this lovely lipstick sent me this little blush. It's so cute. And I'm just going to use a tiny brush and put that right on the top of the cheekbone. And then that's pretty much it for the face, except for the red lipstick, which is Besame Cherry Red. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the look, and thanks for watching.